Hello, this is Spidey1958, and welcome to my Let's Play Feed the Beast Plus Industrial City Episode 71. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've done a video. Uh, I have a major convention coming up that I'm sort of one of the three people running. And it's taking up a lot of my time along with some job changes and stuff. So for the next two, three weeks, episodes will be few and far between probably. But hopefully that after the convention's over, I can get back on a more regular schedule. So people have been wondering where I am. That's the story. So first thing, what we're going to do this episode, I'm going to see if I can finally build a stable world for uh, Miscraft. I've done some research and I think I know how to do it now, I hope. So we're going to go up here, stick the notebook I just created in here. And the first thing we're going to do is we want to make it, I want it to be a desert world because I'm trying to find a, a source of salt, Peter. So We'll right click and put desert in there. And then we want it to be a single biome. So we'll right click and put single biome in there. Next, I want it to be standard terrain generation. So that should be next. And let's see. Next, I want uh, full length. And normal sun then we want full length again and normal moon then we want normal stars then we want uh, normal weather And we want standard lighting and I think that will give us a stable world so let's go ahead and pull it out here and right click on it here so we have desert single standard that looks good and we can have spaces so I'm going to put some spaces in here So full length, normal sun, full length, normal moon, normal stars, normal weather, standard lighting. I think that's correct. Let me check my notes here. I'll be right back. Okay, that should be correct. Now we got to, if I want to add any extras to it. Now let's not any extra. Let's see if that simple basic gives us a stable world. So let's go over here to our book binder and put our notebook in there. That gives us the descriptor book. And I'm going to, can I still name this? I think so standard setup. We'll call this our standard setup book. And we're going to go ahead and stick it in here. Oh, that's not the one we want to stick in here. This is the one we want to stick in here. And we'll go over here to this one. And we'll take it out and stick it over here for the moment. Uh, you can see I have tons of extra ones. There's some some other ones I would like to get, but uh, they will probably have to wait. Okay, so make sure I have a linking book on me. Always a sure thing to make. And then we'll try going. Dang it. Didn't work. I still have bad modifier so I don't know what 
is going on there. I did get my desert. It looks like all I got was slowness. So obviously I did something wrong. Ah! And theoretically in the desert, Saltpeter is supposed to show up, but I don't know how that works or if that works in other ages, so... But it doesn't look like it's stable, so let's go ahead and, oh, I didn't actually bring a stand, did I? Yeah, let's see if I have, by chance, any wood in my forester's backpack. No, of course not. Well, it looks like we're just going to have to have the book fall on the ground here. So dang it, that was supposed to be stable. I wonder what I did wrong. Well, I will have to check into that and see if I can figure out what I did wrong. I will be back in a little bit. Okay, I'm going to try it one more time here. I don't know what I did wrong last time, but if this doesn't work, we'll on to something else, and I'll figure it out some other time. So I've got desert, single biome, standard terrain, full-length sun, full-length moon, normal stars, normal weather, and standard light. So we're going to go over here on our machine and place our book right here. Which copies all the pages out of it and gives us our descriptive book which I should have named before I removed oh well and then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves a whole bunch of linking books which we're gonna put a bunch in here And then we'll put our little standard note setup book there. And you may notice I made a second bag. We're going to stick one of these in the bag. Stick that up there. And we're also going to start keeping cobble and wood in one of my bags since I have the extra room now. So we're going to go over here, pick up this one, and put down this one. And we'll go ahead and throw this one in here. And see what happens. What's well, day? Ooh, I don't see any bad effects. I may have finally actually done it. Okay. So let's go ahead, first of all, and put down a waypoint. And I don't remember if they fixed the problem. There was a problem with uh, Ray's minimap doesn't save the waypoints when you quit the game. So that's why I'm carrying an extra book with me. And let's wander around here and see what we can find. Oh, some sort of Thomcraft obsidian thingy. Does this do anything special? Am I going to get in trouble breaking this? Hopefully not. Okay, and it's getting to be night, of course. But, uh, Oh, he was carrying a carrot. Nothing. 
Now I did put villages on here because I wanted to make it as simple as possible. But now that I have a formula that works, that might be doable. What I think I'm going to do is go back to the overworld, sleep to make a day, charge up all my stuff, do some exploring, and then I'll um, come back when I have something worthwhile to show you. Okay, I may have been wrong about no instability because it appears to be charged. I keep seeing lightning strikes. Though I guess it could be raining and I'm in the desert and wouldn't know it. But I found this building. And there's a page here. Noon. A page is here. Page here. Mushroom biome. I don't think I have that one. And if I remember right, they sometimes hide stuff in these corners. Oh, don't see anything there. Nothing there. Aha! Oops. Looks like I have tons of books. Woodlands, red, plains, and forested island. Yay! I'm going to go ahead and harvest all these books because I never have too many books. I don't think there's anything else hidden in here. Okay, I'll be back if I find anything else. Okay, I'm back. I got a whole bunch of pages and totem stuff. So let me see what page is here. Tile biomes. I don't think I have that one yet. That would be under modifiers. No. Categories. I think that's under categories. Well, maybe I do have tiled biomes. Yes. Tile biomes. I have that one. Mushroom biomes. I found normal stars again. Plains. Mine shafts. South. I don't know what that means. Birch. Forested island. Stone. Oh, that. I know what that's good for. Noon. Woodlands. Red. Frozen. Okay. Um. I'll sort these out, and uh, then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I think what I'm going to work on next, I had a big backlog in my system I had to straighten out. But next, I think I'm going to start, see if I can automate a way to make construction foam. Uh, because I want to build a nuclear power plant, and I want the outer layer to be construction foam. So... I had to make some clay blocks, which are just made by four clay in there. Excuse me. So we're going to go here, and I have to break this again. It's annoying that I lose, every time I break that, I, I lose the uh, um, ingredients in it. So I have to put them back in. And then put my Antarctic gate back on. It's the gate that's causing me the issues. Whoops. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and throw a block of one block into the pulverizer. 
which should give me two clay dust. And so then all I have to do is program my last open one here. Whoops. And say that one block of clay gives me two clay dust. So that should now give me my clay dust. And let's see, do I have a system for making water in here? I don't remember. Nope, I don't have a system for making water. So let's go ahead and order two of these. And then we're going to need one liquid transposer. And one aqueous accumulator. And then we're going to need, now well, that should be it with these. Okay, let's go in our construction room here. And we're going to use wax because I got tons of wax. So how do I want to do this? Do, 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 do. Well, I think we're going to put it right here. So let's reach into my handy bandy bag, pull out my two buckets of water I keep there. And then we'll put down our aqueous accumulator right here. And we'll put that right there. And then we need to change this so that it outputs in the top. Change this so that it inputs from the bottom. Okay, so now we have a way to get automated water. So next I need to get pipes over to this side of the room. I really should have put that down at the other end. Oh, let's order some pipes. And... So let's order a stack of stone pipes. How do I want to do this? That's a good question. I think we'll do a supplier provider because I think that works best. So we'll go ahead and order two of these. And we'll need lapis. And glowstone. Oh, we're also going to need... Let's get a peat engine. And 
let's order half a stack of peat. And then we're going to need another pipe. So let's order another one of these. And we're going to need some lapis. Two more lapis. And we'll need a lever. I think that should mostly get what we need. We'll find out here. Why do I have seven bronze in here? I must have been when my machine system was misbehaving. So first of all, I need two supplier pipes. I think I only need one glowstone because I think a provider pipe, yep, yeah, is just that. So I actually have an extra glowstone there. So if we go over here. Oh, first of all, I need to order one more pipe. One more of those. Okay, and then I need to lay this pipe along the ceiling here. I know there are better ways I can do this, but I'm trying to do it in a way that will let me... Uh... Oh, I forgot to refill those before I destroyed my infinite supply. Well, that's easy enough to fix. Okay. Actually, for the time being, I'm going to take it down this way, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll take it that way for the moment. And we're going to put Oh no, that doesn't work either. We'll do it this way. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put down our peat engine here. And then put down one of our suppliers here. And we're going to tell it that it's going to supply peat. Yes. I need to check my peat production again. I think I'm still producing more than I'm using, but... Okay. Yep, that should work. So then we're going to go ahead and change this. The top is also going to be an in. And then the left side will be 
and out. That should hopefully work. Oh no, that's still not going to work. Do do that's going to create problems. Well, that's easy enough to fix. Do do. Okay, so I'm going to put down the supply the provider here, and then we're going to put the supplier here, and just a normal pipe here. And we're going to go ahead and tell this to keep uh, let's keep 64 supplied. I'm sure I don't need that many. In fact, I'm sure I do, don't need that many. Why did you go out? Oh, because it's automatically ejecting them out the side. So let's try. What happens if I change that to that? And then tell it this supply. Whoops. To the supplies water. So let's see if this actually works. So water. We're going to try requesting 64 again. It at least thinks it's successful. Yep, I saw one go. Okay, that should be working. Oh, that's right, they're going to get slowed down from. Why are empty one? Oh, because they overflowed the system. Okay, do I have? Looks like I have an open one right there. So we're going to go ahead and try this. So we need one clay dust. one coal dust one redstone and we have the water containers we have 28 of them So let's order 30. See if we actually get 30. So there's our redstone. There's our coal dust. There's our 30 water containers. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and tell it that one of these and one of these and one of these and one of these and it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Coal dust it's supposed to work. Clay dust redstone supposed to produce three of those. Oh, because I put clay in, not clay dust. Not coal dust. Ha! Huh. 
That's why. Okay, that produces three. So now we have an automated way of producing this. And what this should do is, as these fill up, it should stop running at some point. Now, and I can have no way of... So hopefully that'll fill up. We'll probably wind up with all sorts of problems down the road with that, but I got tons of water until then, so. So we'll put this stuff all away. Okay. Now what I need to do is test it by ordering. Whoops, that's not what I want. So now I should have construction foam on here. And let's order a stack of that. Missing 16 coal dust, two water capsules. But you can make those. Why are you saying you're missing them? Now I'm confused. Well, I, it's, we're hitting a wrapping up point anyway. I will go ahead and figure it out for next episode. And that, um, hopefully it's not some bug I've just found or something. But uh, until next time, this is Spidey1958. And have fun Minecrafting.